Eric upon Tweed has its very own war poet. Noel Hodgson is connected to Holy Trinity Church because his father was the vicar here until 1914. So Noel lived in Berwick as a boy and from here he went at the age of 12 to Durham School where he had won a scholarship. As a young boy, Noel attended a very small school in the Avenue in what is now a private house. A plaque to remember his father is situated to the left-hand side of the entrance to the chancel. William Noel Hodgson, MC, was born in 1893 and was an English poet of the First World War. During the war, he published stories and poems under the pen name Edward Melbourne. Hodgson was the fourth and youngest child of Henry Bernard Hodgson, the Bishop of St Edmundsbury and Ipswich. He entered into the schoolhouse of Durham School in September 1905 on a King's Scholarship. He steered in the second crew in 1907. He was in the 11 in 1910 and 1911 and in the 15 in 1910. He won the steeplechase in 1909 and 1911. And he left Durham in July 1911 with Gallipoli war poet and friend Noel Oxland for Oxford University, where he was an exhibitioner of Christchurch. He obtained a first-class degree in classical moderations in March 1913 and decided to stay and do greats. He was known as Smiler to his friends. He volunteered for the British Army on the outbreak of the First World War in 1914 and served in the 9th Battalion of the Devonshire Res Regiment. For the first year of the war, he was training in England before landing at Le Havre on 28th of July 1915 and being sent to trenches near Festubert. His first major offensive came on the 25th of September during the Battle of Luz. He was mentioned in dispatches and awarded the Military Cross for holding a captured trench for 36 hours without reinforcements or supplies during the battle and he was subsequently promoted to Lieutenant. Having returned to England after the Battle of Luz, he was positioned with his battalion in the frontline trenches at Fricourt in February 1916 before moving a kilometre or so to the trenches opposite the town of Mametz in April. The trench was named Mansell Copse as it was in a group of trees. He was killed on the first day of the Battle of the Somme when attacking German trenches near Mametz. He was bombing officer for his battalion during the attack and was killed by machine gun position at the shrine while taking grenades to the men in the newly captured trenches. The bullet went through his neck, killing him instantly. His servant was found next to him after the offensive had ended. He is buried in the Devonshire Cemetery at Mansell Copse, where his body was interred during the evening of the day he was killed. Although he had been writing poetry since the age of 16, he started publishing stories and poems in periodicals at the beginning of 1916, using his pen name Edward Mel Melbourne. Hodgson's posthumous volumes, Verse and Prose in Peace and War, were published in London by Murray in 1917 and they ran to three editions. 
he is probably best remembered today for his poem, Before Action, which was written shortly before he died and was published in the weekly paper, The New Witness, only two days before he died. Noel Hodgson was well enough known in Berwick that his death was incorporated into the war memorial for the parish church, which is situated behind the altar at the east end of the church. In normal times, a file with a selection of Hodgson's poems is kept on a shelf in the vestibule of the church. Before action, by all the glories of the day, and the cool evening's venison, by that last sunset touch that lay upon the hills when day was done, by beauty lavishly outpoured, and blessings carelessly received, by all the days that I have lived, make me a soldier, O Lord. By all of all man's hopes and fears, and all the wonders poets sing, the laughter of unclouded years, and every sad and lovely thing. By the romantic ages stored, with high endeavour that was his, by all his mad catastrophes, make me a man, O Lord. I that on my familiar hill saw with uncomprehending eyes a hundred of thy sunsets spill, their fresh and sanguine sacrifice ere the sun swings his noonday sword, must say good-bye to all of this. By all delights that I shall miss, help me to die, O Lord. <laughs>